What's happening? It's Eric from LED Grow Lights Depot. This review is of the Green Sunshine Company Electric Sky 180 LED Grow Light. The review will be quite similar to my recent review of the ES300 LED Grow Light. Effectively, the ES180 is just a smaller version of the ES300. So if you're interested in the more powerful 300 watt ES300, as opposed to this 180 watt LED grow light, check out the ES300 video link in the description. Otherwise, sit tight to learn more about the Electric Sky 180. Hit the like button below. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to see more in-depth reviews of the best and brightest LED grow lights. And smash the notification bell to be notified every time a video is uploaded. What are the differences between the ES180 V1 and the new V2? Let me first note that the body is identical to the V1, so there are not any changes in the main look and feel of the fixture when the light is turned off. Even the lenses are the same. Essentially, the Green Sunshine Company just changed the diodes and altered the spectrum, which had a positive effect on the following. Spectrum. The main spectrum is made up of two different spectrum LED chips, and overall, the spectrum to the eye appears a bit less red and now leans toward a warmer white. 2. Efficacy. Since the chips are more efficient, this bumped up the light output per watt. 3. Light output. The wattage that the V2 pulls from the wall is the same as the V1, but with more efficient chips, the total light output of the fixture has increased. I will cover these points more in depth just ahead. All Green Sunshine Company lights come double box and discreetly shipped. All of them are well packed, so damage is quite rare. Notice the foam inserts, the light, and some of the accessories. All right, let's see what we got. So we got some plugs, we have some wire hangers and ratchet hangers. Also looks like some basic instructions on setting up the light and then some stickers, and in this pack, um, the dimming kit. There's the stickers. And dimming kit instructions. So this light actually feels quite heavy, even though it's pretty small, and that's because it's mostly made out of aluminum, so it's not hollow or cheap plastic or anything like that. I'm going to show you these uh, different plugs. So it comes with a 120 and a 240. So depending on your application, you can switch it out for one or the other. All right, let's plug it in. Take a look at it. I'm going to hang this up and show you some more. The ES180 V2 is a wideband, full spectrum LED grow light designed for small grow areas and tents. We don't really recommend this light for large commercial grows since the ES300 fills that niche. However, it can be used for commercial applications. The elongated shape of the fixture allows these lights to be used in long narrow spaces or they can be arranged in a grid pattern for square or rectangular spaces. The unit measures 24.5 by 12 by 2.4 inches and it weighs 14.5 pounds. Most of the fixture's weight can be attributed to the large aluminum heatsink that houses the Meanwell power supply in the center of it as well as acting as a thermal sink for the six rows of LEDs that run across the bottom of the unit. The LED strips are removable and upgradable for potential technology upgrades. The linear lenses, which are also removable, reduces wasted light that gets thrown at a wide angle away from your plants, concentrates it, directs it back down towards them, and helps increase canopy penetration. A frosted glass panel runs down the entirety of the light and separates the two sets of LED strips. The dimmer allows you to adjust the intensity down from 100% to 10% and is quite handy when growing seedlings, clones, and during the vegetative phase when plants don't need as much light. The ES180 comes with a 10 foot cord and is ready to plug and play out of the box after you hang it up. There are multiple ways to hang up the fixture and it can even be angled towards the plants, just like the first generation fixture. The light is designed to replace the light intensity of a 300 watt equivalent HID grow light and two lights will replace a 600 watt HID grow light while using 40% less electricity and exuding 40% less heat. Only 614 BTUs are emitted with one fixture and 1,228 BTUs with two fixtures. The ES180 is rated IP20, so it's not recommended that you get the fixture wet. The ES180 can accept 100 volts to 277 volt power. At 120 volts, the fixture pulls 183 watts from the wall and 1.55 amps at full intensity. Expect about 
0.77 amps at 240 volts at full intensity. With the dimmer dialed all the way down to 10%, I measured 16.4 watts from the wall and 0.16 amps. There is a three-year full manufacturer's warranty on this fixture. The unit is ETL, ROHS, CE, and RCM Australia listed for safety in damp, dry locations and is safe for home and commercial grows. Commercial growers may be eligible for energy rebates. Contact us for more information on potential rebates. The Green Sunshine Company is headquartered in Portland, Oregon, USA. The Spectrum is really the bread and butter of the Electric Sky Grow system. The Green Sunshine Company is pretty quiet about what brand diodes that they use. However, I'd bet that they use top bin diodes from a large, well-known manufacturer given the efficiency of the units. The V1 Spectrum used a combination of warm white, cool white, and wideband red diodes. The V2 Spectrum uses a full spectrum white light diode and a purple diode. There's a 70,000 hour plus lifetime with these diodes. That's about 16 years for flower and 10.6 years for veg. Expect around 414 micromoles per second of light from this unit with an efficacy of 2.3 micromoles per joule. Two lights emit a PPF of about 828 micromoles per second. There's some blue, a healthy dose of green, and a lot of red in the Electric Sky Wideband Spectrum. While the red peaks at 660 nanometers, there's a significant amount of energy in the 680 to 740 nanometer near-infrared range. Light energy in this range stimulates the Emerson effect, which in sum significantly increases the rate of photosynthesis. There's no other company out there that I'm aware of that puts this much emphasis on the far red part of the spectrum. Two ES-180s will cover a 4x4 area for vegetative growth and will flower a 3x3 area with really good even intensity. Two lights may be used in up to a 4x4 space for flower, but expect less light per square foot. At full intensity, the recommended hanging distance for veg is around 24 inches to 36 inches from the canopy and about 18 inches for flowering for most growers. Now let's look at my PPFD readings for the ES-180. As a note, you're gonna see higher par readings in a tent or with an array of fixtures in an open area versus a single light in an open area. Furthermore, the par readings are about 10% less than the actual par since the meter doesn't pick up the far red wavelengths which this fixture is heavy in. My first par reading is gonna be 24 inches below the light. Now I'm doing this reading in a four x four tent, so I admit it's not the best tent to uh, test this in. However, I'm gonna bring the meter about six inches from uh, or to the back of the tent. Just don't wanna go all the way to the back. About six inches from the corner and about six inches from the side. So I'm trying to keep it in about a three by three area. Notice at 24 inches, the par is pretty good. I'd recommend this height for veg. Pretty good even coverage right below the light. And the next reading is gonna be at 18 inches. So these are definitely flowering intensities, just under a thousand PPFD. And again, doing the same thing, trying to keep it about six inches away from the back of the tent, the corner and the side. Quite low in the corner there, off to the side since the light is elongated. It's a little bit higher, it looks like just under 500. And bringing those readings back up just below a thousand. And the last reading is at 16 inches. Wow, so these are some really good numbers. 1,100 plus PPFD. Moving it to the back. You can see that's gonna drop off pretty quickly. So you could definitely use one light in a three x three. However, I would recommend two lights in a three x three, as I mentioned, for the most even coverage. But uh, this is just to give you an idea of that light intensity at different heights and how that light intensity drops off. So overall, pretty good. The Green Sunshine Company took par readings of the ES-180 in a 4x4 grow tent at 18 inches and 21 inches. Now keep in mind that they're using BPFD, which takes the spectrum into consideration and includes light energy into the infrared range. Therefore, the readings will be a little bit higher than what is measured with a typical par meter. While the lights can be used in a 4x4, we'd recommend using two of these lights in a 3x3 area for the best intensity and coverage. So what's my opinion of this fixture? 
I think two of these lights is a great way to cover a 3x3 space for flowering. The uniform coverage keeps the light from scattering to the sides and instead beams it down onto your plants. The rectangular shape of the ES-180 allows high modularity to fit any size grow space, square or rectangular, and is ideal for growers looking to cover a 1.5 foot by 3 foot area or larger. For any 2x4 area or commercial grow, I'd recommend the Electric Sky 300. The ES-180 V2 feels only a little bit warm to the touch, and the dimming function is a convenient feature for a full cycle grow. The Electric Sky Series Spectrum really is quite unique and is what makes this fixture special. That extra far red boost will lead to explosive growth and large yields. There are hundreds of reviews on the internet about the first generation ES-180 and ES-300, and I'm sure the second generation will continue to please growers. Now what are the downsides of this fixture? Well, there's a glass panel on the bottom middle of the fixture that could break if you're not careful and accidentally drop the fixture. Also, there's no spectrum tuning available. Finally, the MSRP on the ES-180 is $420, so two of these fixtures in a 3x3 area will run you as much as $840 before any discounts. This might be a little expensive for most growers, but for a good quality fixture, I think this is a fair price. And this fixture may actually save you money in the long term since you won't end up replacing your lights every year because you bought a low quality fixture. See the description below to purchase the ES-180 V2 and for any applicable discounts, get 5% off with code GREENSKY at checkout, plus get free shipping in the lower 48 states with no additional tax. International shipping is available. So what do you think about the ES-180 V2? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this of your favorite LED grow lights. Check out ledgrowlightsdepot.com for the latest and most trusted LED grow lights. Follow us on Instagram too, at LED Grow Lights Depot for giveaways and more. Link below. See you later.